Hello everybody. In my last clip, I mentioned about avoiding toxicity. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Who, he who follows me shall not walk in darkness. I saw a YouTube clip with a man having an argument with a woman. The woman was shouting and he was arguing back. She wasn't accepting what he said. She obviously was a non-Christian. He was trying to argue his point. <clears throat> but you know, Proverbs says, don't answer a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him. But answer him according to his folly, which means you walk on, you ignore it, you carry on with something else. It says, avoid foolish arguments. <laughs> you know, we have to be wise. Wise as serpents, harmless as doves. And I put on the YouTube clip, we need to walk in words of knowledge. I had a Muslim arguing with me saying, you're doing it all wrong, we're doing it right. Just like the woman at the well said to Jesus. And Jesus said, go and call your husband. It was a word of knowledge. No more arguments from her. I had the same thing with this Muslim saying, you're doing it all wrong and we're the ones doing it right. And I said to him, Jesus can set you free from alcohol. Immediately, his tone of voice changed. Oh, I need to talk to you. So we need to work in words of knowledge. I was preaching in Spain and this Spanish guy started heckling me and my interpreter started to argue with him. I said, don't argue, just interpret. And I said to the young man, have you ever been burnt? He held up his right hand, all burnt. I said, that's what it's gonna be like in hell. If you don't return from your sins and call Jesus into your heart, you will burn in hell like that. No more heckling. Then I went to join a friend who'd been preaching in Victoria and London for two years. And he never told anybody, but he'd been heckled by the builders on a, on a building that they were doing on scaffolding, building a new building. And they were cursing him and swearing at him. He was ignoring him and continuing to preach, but they were just mocking him. He said nothing to anybody. I come up first time in two years, cause I had a day off work. He handed me the microphone. Immediately I got the microphone. They started to do the same to me. And I got my finger and I pointed up at the scaffolding. And I says, as for you, young man, you committed adultery against the wife of your youth last night. If you don't repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ, not only will you go to hell, but you'll have a broken marriage. No more heckling. And every week after that, he went up. No one heckled him. So we need to move in words of knowledge, not just argue. Avoid arguments at all costs. That's what the Bible speaks about. So don't argue, follow the ways of Jesus. Hear what Jesus says and speak the word of God and you'll have the victory and the person will be convicted. Another time I was preaching and I said, look, we come to warn you in love about the fires of hell. Because a lot of Christians are afraid to talk about hell. I said, but we come in love to tell you. I said, you wouldn't say it was love if your house was on fire and I didn't warn you. The man got angry because his house burnt to the ground. But don't you think God was trying to speak to him? He was more concerned about his material house than he was about his eternal house, his soul, which would perish forever in, in fires of hell. By love, we have to tell them. And you know, we have to speak the truth in love. We can't avoid the truth. We've got to tell people the truth, but we've got to do it in a, a way that is loving. I took my stepmother to hear a man and all he did was preach about hellfire. She came forward for, for salvation at the end. You know what she said to me? I could tell he loved us. He hadn't even said the word love, but I know people go on the streets and say, God loves you. People laugh at them because they know they've got no love for them because body language speaks louder than words, okay? So I send these things to you in love for you to actually ask God to use you to give you words of knowledge in speaking to people about Jesus. Amen.